Today we're going to discuss factoring quadratics. The first thing we need to do is check to see if we can factor out a GCF. 14, 12, and 2 can all be divided by 2, so we factor out a 2. 14 divided by 2 is 7, x squared. Negative 12 divided by 2 is negative 6x, and negative 2 divided by 2 is negative 1. Since we factored out the GCF, the GCF will go on the outside of our answer. We're going to write the squared term, 7x squared, in the top left-hand box. We're going to write the constant in the bottom right-hand box. That's the number without the x, negative 1. <clears throat> the missing diagonal uh, adds to give me the uh, middle term, negative 6x. It also multiplies to give me this diagonal. So 7x squared times negative 1 is negative 7x squared. So we need two terms that multiply to give me negative 7x squared. That also adds to give me the middle term, negative 6x. Those two numbers in this case would be negative 7x and positive 1x. Negative 7x and positive 1x. We put those in the missing boxes. It does not matter which box we put them in. We could put the 1x up here and the negative 7x down here. Now we're going to determine what was multiplied to form the four boxes. We can see, uh, think about this as taking the GCF of each row and the GCF of each column. 7x squared and negative 7x can be divided by 7x. 1x and negative 1 can be, be, can be divided by 1. 7x squared and 1x can be divided by x. Negative 7x and negative 1 can be divided by 1, but since this 7 is negative, in order for this to work out, we need to divide by negative 1. Now, if we were to multiply this back out, 7x times x is 7x squared. 7x times negative 1 is negative 7x. 1 times x is 1x, and 1 times negative 1 is negative 1. So 14x squared minus 12x minus 2 factors to 2 times, and our factors are what's on the outside of the box. 7x plus 1 times x minus 1. Let's try a couple more examples. 9x squared minus 6x minus 15 can be divided by 3. 9 divided by 3 is 3x squared. Negative 6x divided by 3 is negative 2x. And negative 15 divided by 3 is negative 5. We put the constant term in the top left box. We put the constant, or I'm sorry, we put the squared term in the top left hand box. We put the constant term in the bottom right hand box. We multiply that diagonal together. We get negative 15 x squared. We need two terms that multiply to give me negative 15 x squared. That adds to give me the middle term, negative 2x. Those two numbers would be negative 5 and 3. Think about the numbers that you can multiply to get 15. 1 and 15, 3 and 5. Any combination of those that's going to add to give me negative 2 would be 3 and 5. The 5 has to be negative. We put those in the remaining boxes. We then see what we can divide each of these by. 3x squared and negative 5x, we can divide by x. 3x and negative 5, we can divide by 1. 3x squared and 3x, we can divide by 3x. Negative 5x and negative 5, we can divide by 5, but we want to divide by a negative 5 since this uh, box here is a negative value. And we have factored. Our factors are going to be the GCF on the outside of the parentheses, and each factor here on the outside of the box goes in the parentheses up here. 3 times x plus 1 times 3x minus 5 is what we're looking for. 2x squared plus 3x minus 9. We can't divide those by anything, so there is no GCF. We put the squared term in the top left-hand box. We put the constant term in the bottom right-hand box. We multiply those two together. 2x squared times negative 9 is negative 18x squared. What can we multiply to get negative 18x squared? That adds to give us the middle term, positive 3x. Those two numbers would be positive, um, 
positive 6x and negative 3x. Again, if you're not sure, we can think about all the numbers we can multiply to get 18, 1 and 18, 2 and 9, 3 and 6. Which combination, if we add or subtract those numbers, would give us 3? 6 and negative 3 would. We put those in the two remaining boxes. 2x squared and 6x can be divided by 2x. Negative 3x and negative 9 can be divided by negative 3. 2x squared, and we want to divide by a negative here because this value is negative. 2x squared and negative 3x, we can divide both of those by an x. 6x and negative 9, we can buy, divide both of those by a 3. Since we had no GCF, there's no number on the outside. And we put the numbers outside the box, inside the parentheses. We're going to skip this example, this example, and this example, because they're all pretty much the same. We're going to look at this last example. Notice there is no middle term here. So we put x squared here. We still put negative 16 there. We would still multiply these two together. We get negative 16x squared. What two numbers can we multiply to get negative 16x squared? And now we got to figure out what they're going to add to. But since there's no middle term, there's really a 0x um, sitting right there. So we want these two numbers to add to 0x. Think about the numbers we can multiply to get 16. 1 is 16, 2 and 8. 4 and 4. The combination here that's going to add to give me 0 would be negative 4x and positive 4x. So that's what goes in our box. Positive 4x and negative 4x. x squared plus 4x. We can divide both of those by x. Negative 4x and negative 16 because this number is negative. We can divide both of those by negative 4. x squared and negative 4x. We can divide by an x. 4x and negative 16, we can divide by a 4. So our factors would be x minus 4 times x plus 4. So if the middle term is missing, uh, we want to make sure it adds to 0x.